a sound rises from millions of homes, temples, and gatherings around the world. A single phrase, repeated over and over, creating waves of energy, shaking lives to their core, inspiring change, hope, and transformation. It is a simple chant, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, yet it holds a power that has stirred both hearts and controversies. Some hail it as a life-altering mantra, a direct path to enlightenment, while others question its value or criticize it as mere superstition. Despite the debates, one thing is undeniable. This chant is making waves across the globe, and for many, it is changing everything. To understand why this chant stirs such powerful feelings and why people are drawn to it, we need to explore not just its surface meaning but the deep significance rooted in the Lotus Sutra, one of the most revered texts in Mahayana Buddhism, and Nichiren Daishonin's writings, which brought this practice to prominence. The phrase, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, is the essence of the Lotus Sutra, which teaches that all people, regardless of their circumstances, have the potential to attain Buddhahood. It is not some remote ideal for saints or sages, it is a real possibility, a transformation that can occur in the midst of our daily lives. Nam means devotion, an intention of deep respect and connection. Myoho refers to the mystic law, the ultimate truth that governs life and the universe. Renge means the lotus flower, which blossoms and seeds simultaneously, symbolizing the principle of cause and effect. Kyo means sutra, or the voice and teaching of the Buddha. At first glance, the chant may seem like just words strung together, but its true power lies in its ability to unlock the infinite potential within each individual. Nichiren Daishonin himself described it as the key to opening up the wisdom and courage we all possess. In one of his letters to a follower, Nichiren wrote, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is like the roar of a lion. What sickness can therefore be an obstacle? This roar represents the undeniable power of this chant to vanquish any suffering, no matter how deeply rooted. For many, this has proven true in their lives. There are countless stories of people facing enormous challenges poverty, illness, loss who found strength they never knew they had through chanting. They began to see their circumstances not as fixed or insurmountable but as opportunities for growth. Nichiren once wrote, if you light a lantern for another, it will also brighten your own way. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is not only a personal practice, it also serves as a way to connect with others and help bring light into the world. Take, for example, the story of Shi Kingo, a samurai who followed Nichiren during a time of intense political and personal turmoil. His fortunes were waning, and his enemies seemed poised to destroy him. Yet through chanting and following Nichiren's teachings, Shi Kingo transformed his circumstances. He maintained his integrity, stood strong in the face of adversity, and ultimately regained favor and security. Nichiren praised him, saying, the greater the hardship, the greater the delight. This teaching speaks to the ability of chanting to turn obstacles into sources of joy and growth, as it did for Shi Okingo. But why does this simple chant have such an effect? Is it just a psychological boost, or is there something more at work? From a Buddhist perspective, chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo taps into the mystic law, the rhythm of the universe. The Lotus Sutra teaches that this law is universal and impartial. By aligning ourselves with it through chanting, we harmonize our lives with the fundamental forces of nature, unleashing our inherent wisdom, courage, and compassion. Gautama Buddha, the historical Buddha, spoke about the nature of life and suffering, emphasizing the impermanence of all things. He taught that suffering arises from attachment to transient things and desires. However, in the Lotus Sutra, he revealed a profound teaching, that within every person, even those who have lived lives full of greed, anger, or ignorance, exists the potential for enlightenment. At all times, I think to myself, how can I cause living beings to gain entry into the unsurpassed way and quickly acquire the body of a Buddha? Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is a way of connecting with that promise, of bringing forth the Buddha nature that exists within us all. Some critics argue that such a chant, practiced in repetition, is nothing more than an empty ritual. But for those who chant, it is far from empty. Each repetition of the phrase resonates deep within, like a hammer striking the core of one's being, gradually breaking away layers of doubt, fear, and negativity. 
It is a practice of faith and determination, not in something external, but in one's own potential to transform suffering into joy. Nichiren Daishonin knew the power of words, of sound. He often wrote about the importance of chanting with conviction. In one letter, he said, when one chants the Dai Moku, the mind of ordinary people is like a mirror clouded by dust, but by chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, the mirror will be polished and reflect the true nature of life. This metaphor of polishing the mirror is central to the practice. Each chant is like a stroke of a cloth, gradually removing the dust that clouds our vision, allowing us to see ourselves and our lives with clarity. For those who embrace the practice, chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo becomes a daily rhythm, a practice that connects them to the larger flow of life. It is not a magic formula that immediately fixes all problems, but rather, a tool for inner transformation. Nichiren's teaching emphasizes personal responsibility and the power of one's actions. He wrote, if you seek enlightenment outside yourself, then you're performing even 10,000 practices and 10,000 good deeds will be in vain. The chant is not about seeking something outside, but about bringing out the qualities that already exist within us. Around the world, people have shared how this chant has helped them to face difficulties with courage and hope. They have used it to overcome health crises, to mend broken relationships, to find direction in their lives, and even to create a sense of peace amid turbulent times. The chant provides a moment of stillness, a way to center the mind and remind oneself that no matter how dire the circumstances, they are not permanent. Life, like the lotus, blooms from the muddy waters of hardship. The controversy surrounding the chant often stems from its simplicity. People expect enlightenment to be more complicated, more elusive. How can something as simple as repeating a phrase lead to profound change? Yet, as the Buddha taught, the truth is often simple. It is our minds that complicate things. The Lotus Sutra's message is clear. This reality is beyond the comprehension of ordinary people and those who are still learning, but those who practice with a sincere heart can come to realize the true nature of things. The practice of chanting may seem deceptively simple, but it leads to deep realizations about life and our place in it. In Nichiren's time, he faced opposition, persecution, and ridicule for promoting the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Yet, he never wavered in his conviction that this was the correct path for people to attain enlightenment in the current age. In his writings, he stated, I, Nichiren, am the only person who understands why this is so. His confidence in the power of this chant, despite overwhelming opposition, is a testament to its potential to transform lives. Today, as more people from diverse backgrounds take up the chant, the question remains. Why is something so ancient, and often misunderstood, resonating so strongly now? Perhaps it is because the modern world, with all its distractions and complexities, makes the simple practice of chanting all the more necessary. In a world where people feel overwhelmed, disconnected, or powerless, chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo offers a way to reconnect with a deeper truth and to rediscover the power within. The controversy will likely continue, as all practices that challenge the status quo do. But for those who chant, the proof is not in debates or theories. It is in the change they see in their own lives, the resilience they feel when faced with challenges, and the hope that continues to grow even in the darkest of times. The chant is more than words, it is a lifeline to the Buddha nature within us all, a reminder that no matter what, we can always start again, stronger and wiser than before. In Nichiren's words, those who chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, whether knowledgeable or not, are like the mountain that cannot be moved or the wind that cannot be caught. And so, the chant continues to spread, touching hearts and changing lives across the globe.